year five. It's Mr. Worthington here again, ready to introduce today, Wednesday the 3rd of February's Home Learning. In English this morning, continuing the work that you've been doing on Greek mythology, yesterday we asked you to read the myth about Hercules and the 12 labours. Hope you enjoyed that myth year five. Well, today we want you to describe Hercules. So we've posted some pictures online of Hercules completing some of the 12 labours and we want you to write a detailed character description of him. So don't forget some of the devices that we've looked at this year, year five. That includes similes, metaphors, also some personification, maybe even some relative clauses or expanded noun phrases to add extra information about our hero. We really look forward to reading your descriptions. In maths today, we'll be carrying on our work on multiplication. But unlike yesterday, where you looked at how you can use known facts to multiply and divide mentally, today you will have to use the formal written method. So for example, if you have a question, 2,387 times seven, that would be very difficult to complete mentally year five. It's best to write it down in one of the formal written methods. So perhaps the easiest method is the column method. Where we use the columns as the place value. So we have our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. And we are multiplying by seven. Don't forget, as Mr. Wellington always reminds you, you need to use your ruler. And then quite simply, year five, you work through it like you would a column addition or column subtraction, but remember, it's multiplication. We are timesing today. So the first one, in my ones column, I have seven times seven, it's a square number. That's right, it's 49. So I put my nine in my ones, and my four is carried over into my next column in my tens. Then, in my tens column, I have eight tens times seven. Eight times seven is 56. So I have 56 tens, or 560. But I mustn't forget, I need to add on the four tens that I carried earlier. 56 add four tens, right again, it's 60. So I'll put my zero in my tens column, and I'll carry my six over, into my hundreds, because 60 tens year five is 600. Now in my hundreds column, I have 300 times seven. Well, three times seven year five, 21. 2100 add 600 is 2700. Notice how I'm crossing them off as I've used them so that I don't forget to add on the numbers that I've carried. 2700, also 2700. Now in my thousands column, I've got 2000 times seven, which is, right again, 14, add the two, is 16,000. So the answer year five is 16,709. We posted some questions for you to have a go at online. Look forward to seeing you complete those. This afternoon's task is a Spanish task. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Qui quieres? Me gustaría comprar un CD, por favor. Te gusta la música pop? No, prefiero la música hip hop. Acquiesce un CD. Gracias. So there, Year 5, Miss Welsh and myself have had a conversation in Spanish where we've used transactional language. That's the language that you use when you're carrying out a transaction. So, for example, as I'm sure you've all guessed from the, from the words that we used, we were discussing what music I would like and what CD I would like to buy. Miss Welsh asked if I would like a pop CD. And I said, no, as you all know, year five, much prefer a hip hop CD. 
So your challenge for today is can you use transactional language? With your adults at home, can you practice having a conversation in Spanish, asking them about their favorite music or where it be to buy a CD yourself? Please post online any conversations that you've had, send them to us on our Twitter or Facebook page. We really like to see you using your Spanish year five at home. Before I go year five, we mustn't forget that this week is mental health wellbeing week. So it's really important that we discuss our mental health, how we're feeling, particularly at the moment during the current lockdown and maybe not being able to see all the people that we'd like to see or to be in school. So have a conversation with your parents, tell them how you're feeling, talk about it. It's best, a problem shared is a problem halved. And we've posted some activities online for you to have a go at, thinking all about your mental health and well-being. If you get the time, please complete these as well and post them to us. That's all for now. I'll post another one of these tomorrow.